Hey, what's up people? Martin Unix here and welcome again to another ed educative tutorial. Today I'm going to show you on how to install these blended artificial locks on short hair. Welcome guys. Alright uh, guys, now we are going to kick off by parting the hair into certain sections. Just part the hair guys. So that we can come up with a symmetrical patterns. Remember guys, you don't want to go the symmetrical way. You can just kick off by fixing your, your lock extensions without formula. That way guys. So that's how you, you begin guys by parting the hair. Remember we are just forming some sections from which now we are going to attach the artificial locks remember guys that uh, the length of the hair is wanting and, uh, we are going to try as much as possible a fix the strands. You can have a look. That's how I've just parted my my short hair. And uh, at the beginning of the whole thing, I've just shown you how I was parting using a tail comb. So now we are going to kick off the the attaching part. And uh, by doing so, guys, uh, I will be using crochet that is a 0.5 mm, and this is the is a double crochet. And uh, this is a single crochet hook. Now I'm going to start with this part. I'm gonna attach my extension that way. Remember guys, I will be doing instant, instant method. Then you use your crochet hook to attach the strands. That way, guys. By doing so, guys, you'll be pushing your crochet hook to and fro, making loops. Whereby now you complete the loops by pushing the crochet inside and picking other hair strands just to complete such process that way I would like to tip you guys that uh, crocheting is a, it's a needle work consisting of uh, interlocking looped uh, stitches of hair strands uh, by using a crochet hook now guys after fixing the, the roots using this double hook you can interchange guys the hooks and use this uh, single hook just to smoothen the, the point of intersection if there are any bits of hair which have just poked out of the, the log strand. Alright guys, you need to watch this keenly because we are not going to do the whole hand. I'm just going to do some few strands so you don't have to skip this tutorial guys. And remember to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Kindly share my work and uh, keep liking my content. Comment positively guys. That's how you attach the log strand like this guys. Eh? You can separate the log strands into two. Then place your your your, ex, your extension at the middle, like that, guys. Then seal using the, the other section that way. After doing so, guys, now you can just 
use your double crochet hook push it to and fro with minimum force guys just making some loops while completing such loops if you want to move from one point to another guys is the way you pull the crochet like this guys then you turn it the other way around so that it can come out without breaking the block strands that way guys then you observe some speed as you do so basically guys when doing this you just need to bear in mind that uh, what the crochet does it usually makes some loops which now after pushing the crochet in to and fro are usually completed thus tangling the hair at the point of intersection hence coming out with this extended log strand We are done with two. This is the third one. Remember guys, you need to minimize the volume of these pens because uh, we want we want to to come up with a smooth point of intersection by not uh, forming a lump at this at this particular point. So by doing so guys, you just minimize the, the log strands like this then you can trim the length a little bit that way you see then you pick your hair strands that way then secondly guys you need to subdivide the hair strands into two that way place your local extension at the center that way then seal it using the parted part that way guys you'll find your lock extension is disguised at the center of the two sections that way now you pick your double crochet hook which will now fasten the, the crocheting process that way Remember guys, there is no formula of doing this. You can do this. I know you can perfect this and do better than me. You just need to push the crochet hook to and fro. It's like that. Systematically. That way. Forming loops, guys. Remember guys, you don't need to push your crochet hook with a lot of energy. That is, uh, you might end up breaking the loops. And if you break the loops, guys, you will come up with a weak point of intersection. And uh, your extended logs might not take uh, the intended time. So you need to be careful when forming the loops as well as completing the loops using the crochet. another look guys and the part should be spongy guys remember that guys your crochet hook will be sliding on this figure while this thumb here acting as a stopper that way guys you will avoid butchering yourself so gonna have a look now I'm doing it I know you have other ways of doing this guys but uh, this is my way of fixing this stuff. So, if you want to learn my way, this is the way to go. By doing so, guys, now we are tangling the point of intersection by forming some, you know, minor loops and then going ahead as well, completing, completing those loops using the crochet hook. Now coming up with this uh, finished 
outcome. That way, you can have a look. Now you can have a look. I've already attached the remaining strands, leaving behind one strand just for the sake of our beginners. We are going to do this, and uh, this is how it looks like. Remember, guys, our hair was short, and we managed to do this by doing an instant grafting by use of the crochet tool, which I showed there before. This is 0.5 mm, which is a double crochet hook. And uh, just for the sake of our beginners, guys, we are going to do this remaining strand all together. And we say that uh, you subdivide your portion into two. Now have a look, guys. Now you pick the remaining portion, subdivide it into two. That way. Then you attach your, your lock strand. But before you attach your lock strand, guys, you need to trim it to some length. That way. Yes. Trim it to some length, which is more manageable. Then you place your lock strand in between the, the two sections that you have just subdivided. Pick your crochet hook, guys. Try and push your crochet hook with some speed in and out with less force, guys, to avoid butchering yourself. That way, guys, it to your lock strand. Make sure you lock all the sides, guys, by tilting your lock strand clockwise as you work on the point of intersection. Remember, guys, we said that uh, there's a way of pulling out the crochet hook. You can have a look. These are now the loops. Eh? Then you push in once come out with some other loops and uh, make sure your crochet hook remains inside the lock strand guys whenever you push the crochet hook don't pull it outside outside the lock strand maintain your crochet hook inside the lock strand just to maintain that neatness as well as coming out with a smooth lock strand that way guys you will avoid breakages because uh, at times when the crochet comes out due to the amount of energy that you have been applying on the crochet hook, you might find yourself pulling the strands and breaking them. That way, you'll have so many split, split, end, uh, split edges just surrounding the lock strand. That way, guys, if you find there are some little bits of uh, hair that are poking out the lock strand, Pick this crochet hook here, this is 0.5 mm, which is a single hooked crochet. Try and uh, pull in ones the remaining bits of air, which seems to, to, to be poking out of the lock strand. That way, guys. <coughs> that way, you'll ensure that uh, you come out with a smooth look at the point of intersection guys hence giving you attached extensions some life this is our finished look you can have a look don't mind the shorter bits of hair because uh, now that brings that texture that if that's that uh, natural texture since the hair must look frizzy at times remember that uh, guys when the hair is too much smooth it looks fake and try and pull our point of intersection guys you can have a look it's very firm it can't come out now guys you can wear these logs for a quite long 
duration depending on the maintenance right guys since our our hairstyle is tapered we are going to do some haircut on the sides then i'll go ahead and wet my locks retouch them thereafter i'll style them Guys, I've just I'm just applying some comment on the scarf so that now I can retouch, I can retwist the lock stones. Right, guys, now we are going to do the retwist, and this is my gel. Or not to make these lock extensions so i'm going to place a card at the end of the video so that you can click and get to know on how to do it and this is our final outcome guys after doing the retwist you can have a look very nice it's recommendable work it's a nice look guys you can try this style out guys and uh, you can have a look on the uh, on the blended extensions the color well rhymes with my client scheme and uh, now guys for the style you can come with me to the next tutorial as I show you on how to go about it all right thank you guys for being there on my channel and watching my content I hope you have liked the video and I hope my video guys has been informative. So let's meet in the next tutorial for the styling part of it. And uh, remember to like and share and comment on my channel guys.